Jar is another in the lineup of small SUVs that are slightly oversized. So it's larger than a small SUV, but smaller than a mid-sized SUV, kind of like a Nissan Qashqai or the newly launched Kia Seltos. Confused? Don't be. I am here to sort you out. This is the Kajar Zen. It's in the middle of the range and costs $32,990. It'll easily accommodate a family of four and I tested it over seven days for this week's family review. For a more detailed review, head to the Cars Guide website and if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe. Kajar might sound like a magical city straight out of Aladdin, but it actually looks like a decent SUV. It's got some of that French style going on, but still funky enough to compete with its Korean and Japanese competitors, especially around the headlights and grille, while still keeping its European design credibility. Inside, this Kajar Zen model looks quite cool and like you're in a quality car. Yes, there are plastic finishes around the dash and the doors, but they're not cheap looking. And same with the seats, they are fabric with a faux leather trim. But again, the quilted finish makes it just a bit of a high quality, a bit more of a premium finish than your regular fabric. The steering wheel is finished in faux leather and it still feels good to touch. It's also got a bit of a flat bottom, which is always nice. The center console is well designed with some high gloss finishes around it, which always lifts the design and makes it feel high quality. There are two cup holders in the front, a spot to throw keys and a phone, plus a really large center storage bin for this size car. It's quite deep and bottle holders in each door. And it's much bigger than you'd expect inside the Kaja with enough space up the front, enough leg and headroom, even for the taller members of my family. It's comparable to the Nissan Qashqai and I didn't feel squashed at all. The kids had enough room in the back seat. They're age six and eight, so this was plenty of room for them. I also fit back here quite neatly. I'm 161 centimeters, but there's enough room back here, I think, for tall adults and other teenagers as well. I don't think anyone is gonna have an issue fitting their legs in while sitting straight ahead. I couldn't fit a third child seat. Across here, it did comfortably fit two kids seats and it also has two Isofix points and three top tether points to fix kids car seats in safely. There are two cup holders in the center armrest and most impressively, you'll find air vents in the back seat, which is practically unheard of in this category unless you're playing top dollar. The boot is a good size for a small to mid-size SUV. At 408 litres, it is bigger than a Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, but smaller than a Nissan Qashqai. It fit our Cars Guide Pram this week and also had room left over for groceries or school bags. So while it's not huge, it's enough space. Driving in the Renault Kajar is easy and fairly uneventful, which could be a good thing. It gets around quite nimbly. It's got a 1.3 litre turbo engine, and I found that sufficient to, you know, get around suburbia this week. It gets up hills quickly and it's quick off the mark. The steering is light and easy to turn, so I took advantage of that this week, doing lots of U-turns, especially on the dreaded school run where getting a park is tough competition. Uh, the whole driving experience is fairly effortless. Uh, it has a good reverse parking camera, but I will never understand why some car companies cut the reverse parking camera in half to show this view here. It's fairly useless in my opinion, especially when the car has front and rear parking sensors, so you know when the car is too close to something. Mm -hmm. 
consumption is a claimed 6.3 litres per 100 k's and on average this week I did a best of 10.3 litres per 100 k's but I barely did any highway driving this week. It was a lot of city driving which uses a lot more fuel. But advanced safety is lacking slightly across the range. This Zen model gets city speed auto emergency braking plus lane departure alerts and blind spot monitoring. You'll have to go up in the range to get a park assist feature and no model has rear cross traffic alert which I think is the most useful of all of the advanced safety features. <laughs> The tech is great though. You can plug in for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and turn this seven inch multimedia screen, which does feel a tiny bit small, but it turns into a larger version of your phone. You can use maps to navigate and Spotify to listen to music. Annoyingly, there is no volume knob. You can turn the volume up and down on the screen here or on the steering wheel. It's one of those things where touching the screen is actually a worse experience than a tangible knob. You'll also get a tiny little spot for your short black or your espresso, very French. I like driving around in the Renault Kajar this week. It has just enough space for my family of four with a good amount of interior space. And while I'll always be a fan of cars with huge boots, this car's boot is still just big enough. I gave it a family rating of 7.3 out of 10 and my kids gave it a seven. They really appreciated those air vents in the back seat after this week's poor air quality. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel or click through to our website.